I want to get your response to a few things people typically say who aren't concerned about recent surveillance revelations. Nobody's looking at my stuff anyway, so I don't care. My argument for that is uh, if you don't speak up for everybody's rights, you better be ready for your own rights to be trampled when you least expect it. First and foremost, there are so many laws on the books. There are so many statutes out there that you actually probably are doing something wrong. And if somebody is motivated against you and has access to that information, then it can be used against you. So when you start saying, I'm not doing anything wrong, and it's okay for them to be looking at my information, you better be really sure of that. You can't necessarily have the frank, free flow of information if you have to fear that you're being watched. Whether that means organizing to set up a union at work, to challenge new abortion laws that are happening in your states. There is no reason why governments should be surveilling this activity. And historically, we know that when they collect activity and surveil this activity, it is used against activists all the time. Uh, if uh, Joe McCarthy had access to the NSA's tools, what could have been done with it? How many more lives could have been ruined? I'm particularly disturbed by the thought that NSA is getting not only all of our digital communication, everybody's. That's very bad. It's the infrastructure for a police state. But uh, I'm particularly concerned about the fact that included in that all is every journalist, every source, every potential source. It includes members of Congress, it includes their families, it includes their staff, their home and their office communications. I think it's very naive to imagine that you can have separate branches of government when one branch, the executive, knows the entire private life and private communications, conversations, of every member of the other branch. The idea that everything that they're doing is legal is just a, it's just a lie. It, it, first and foremost, courts have said part of this is potentially unconstitutional. Uh, the program has already, previously we know, run afoul of federal statutes. So the whole presumption that this is legal simply because some professional politician says it's legal is pure speculation. Tech companies may know a lot about you, but they don't have unilaterally the ability to prosecute you and incarcerate you. And people sometimes feel uncomfortable about corporations having this information, and part of that is also because if the corporations have it, the government can get it from those corporations. So often you have legislators and polls and others that well, you can either have your safety or you can have your privacy and your liberty. And I strongly reject that kind of false choice. There is a real difference between what are secret operations and secret law. The American people have a right to know how their laws are being interpreted. And right now, there are in effect two Patriot Acts. There's the one that you read when you sit down at your laptop, and there's the other that is the secret interpretation used by the intelligence community. Close to half of the country now feels that their liberties and rights have been encroached upon. It's a dramatic swing from a relatively short time ago. And not simply surveillance within the NSA, but there's tremendous outsourcing of surveillance to private corporations like Booz Allen, who get lucrative, lucrative contracts, who have a financial interest to keep the system going. That if we do not have a sense of what they're doing, then they're controlling us completely. And at least in democratic societies, we supposedly have some control and some say. But the minute we have no idea what's going on, and the minute that all their actions are sitting in the shadows is the minute that government has the total upper hand and it ceases to be fully democratic. It's about preserving a society that we want to live in, to move towards a future we would want to live in. Uh, 
Uh, and that future has to have room for civil liberties.